Okay, now, one thing about a head. Is it a pure circle? No, in fact, our heads can actually all vary in shape. So, for instance, if you compare yourself to Rich Forrester of The Bold and Beautiful, is he still alive on that TV show? As in Big Jaw Rich? I haven't watched it since the 90s, sorry. Sure. Yeah, that's probably a bit old. We probably should wipe that analogy from the video, okay? Um, but yeah, so what you're going to find is you don't have a big, massive jaw, do you? You all would probably have pretty thin jaws. So what you're going to find is humans come in many different shapes and sizes. And so what we need is sometimes multiple centres of rotation or multiple angles to take x-rays so we can get a nice, clear image. So we're starting up here with the centre of rotation. And technically, what it is is it's an axis in which the unit moves around and rotates. You could imagine the head's kind of like the very central part of the axis of the Ferris wheel. And you could imagine the carriages being the sensor and the X-ray tubes moving around the head. Okay, so with panoramic imaging, because no head is circular, what you're going to find is that things actually have to move around multiple centres of rotation. So don't be too worried if you don't get this right now. What we'll do is explain out these different steps. 